Paul Hogan did a great job advertising Australian holidays to foreigners, but what about Australian holidays to Australians? If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and hit that subscribe button. Let's go. G'day. I suppose you think I'm just lazing around taking a holiday. Well, don't be fooled by the surroundings. I'm actually working flat out for our mighty nation. You see, when you give yourself an Aussie holiday, you give the Aussie economy a boost. Can I just point out, it does seem that in every one of these Paul Hogan uh, tourism ads, there are women with not a lot of clothes on. Clearly, that's how people were sold things back in the day. Lack of clothing. <laughs> And he'll provide badly needed jobs. There you go, Hanks. Ah, oh, thanks, love. See, that looks nice. I just provided a job. Now, there's not one of us can deny that this is the greatest country in the world, but not many of us have seen it. There are so many different Aussie holidays, you could fill a book. And that's just what we've done. No matter what you're into, it's in this book. And you can get it free from any travel centre or your travel agent. There's another bloke working flat out for his country. <laughs> Keep up the good work, son. <laughs> Workaholic. <laughs> With his budgie smugglers yeah, it's on. It's a tough job, but someone has to do it. Well, that is a brilliant ad. That is a really good ad. I love it. So the idea is uh, take domestic holidays. If you're from Australia, rather than flying to another country, take holidays in Australia. Look, you can get away. You can enjoy some sun, some relaxation time in your own country it's so big for starters and the idea the message here is you are basically by holidaying in your own country you are giving your own country men and women jobs because they have to then look after you makes sense actually it look it makes complete sense right what i would like to bring up is is what we have in the uk yeah we go on holiday in the uk all the time but it's becoming a Becoming the sort of situation where it is actually cheaper to fly to another country and have a holiday in another country than it is to drive and have a holiday maybe in a caravan, in a chalet or in a hotel in the UK. It is cheaper to fly out of the country. I'll give you an example. Uh, if I wanted to fly to Poland, to Krakow, I love Krakow. It's an amazing place. Highly recommend it. I could fly from Bournemouth for about £40, £50 return. 15 quid for for for, uh, for parking at the hotel, at the airport. And then it's maybe, I don't know, for a long weekend, maybe, well, three, six, nine, 120, 150 quid. If I was looking at doing a domestic holiday in the UK, if I was, say, going down to Cornwall or Devon, I would be looking at probably 400 quid at least, minimum, for a long weekend. So, I don't know. I want to know from this... How many of you holiday in Australia? How many of you go abroad to another country? Uh, but what are sort of prices like? Is it cheaper to stay in Australia or is it cheaper to fly abroad to another country? It might be a little bit different from Austra for Australians because obviously you've got to travel that little bit extra distance to get anywhere. Um, but yeah, this advert's brilliant. I love that in all the adverts, people are wearing very little, showing that it's such a a glorious place, it's sunny, it's relaxing, you can chill out by the pool and, and just lay there drinking, soaking up the sun, I think it gives a great example of Australia and these adverts that Paul Hogan did in 1985 were brilliant, they really really were brilliant, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you next time.